Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, more than 18 months ago, the Ministry of Labour ordered Isabel Ford's employer, Mankind Grooming, to pay her $5,000 in back wages. When the payment deadline was missed, the order was sent to the Ministry of Finance. But the Ministry has not collected the payment because the company Isabel worked for changed its legal name. Isabel says she had no way of knowing that the Ministry of Labour would do essentially nothing to enforce its own regulations and she has yet to receive her money. Speaker, will this government act now to enforce orders against employers like Isabel's who break workplace laws? Government House Leader. Minister of Labour. Minister of Labour, Training and Skills Development. Well, thank you uh, very much, Mr. Speaker, and I uh, commend uh, the member from London West uh, for this uh, question, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I want to be crystal clear. Our government stands uh, shoulder to shoulder with every worker uh, in the province of Ontario. Uh, as Minister of Labour, Training and Skills Development, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I expect that the Employment Standards Act uh, is followed uh, to the letter. And, Mr. Speaker, I uh, believe strongly that the Occupational Health and Safety Act should be followed uh, as well. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'll have more to say uh, in the supplementary on this particular issue, but uh, again, we expect the Employment Standards Act to, to be followed and the Occupational Health and Safety Act to be followed. Supplementary question. Speaker, this government is not standing shoulder to shoulder with Isabel and neither with many other workers. A year ago, the Ministry of Labour ruled that Juan Jose Lira Cervantes was owed more than $25,000 in lost wages and benefits. Like Isabel, Juan is still waiting for his money. The corporation that owned Domino's Pizza, Juan's employer, simply dissolved two months after the order was issued. The Ministry of Finance says it can't collect from a company that no longer exists, even though Domino's Pizza franchise, where Juan worked, is still going strong. You can go there today and order a pizza. Speaker, about two-thirds of employees whose wages are stolen by their employers never receive what they are owed. Will this government close the loopholes that allow employers Question. to ignore their obligations to the people who work for them? Minister of Labour. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, as Minister of Labour, Training and Skills Development, uh, uh, I believe uh, strongly that when someone uh, goes to work, they deserve to be paid uh, for a fair day's work. But, Mr. Speaker, uh, let me tell you a bit about what we did uh, in our ministry uh, in 2018 and 2019. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we resolved 22,434 claims uh, in the province to uh, ensure that people were paid uh, for a day's work and for their time uh, here, here. working with an employer. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, we continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with every single worker uh, in the province of Ontario. Mr. Speaker, that's why I'm proud of our track record. In 16 months, we've created more than a quarter of a million new jobs Response. in the province. Wages are going up. And Mr. Speaker, I thought the member from London West would support our, our action to eliminate provincial income tax for those Order. earning under $30,000 per year. Wow.